welcome to module one of um, the whatsapp ad hacker i'll be looking at the mind of a digital marketer i'll be looking at the mind of a digital marketer okay a lot of persons now sell online <laughs> yes a lot of persons sell online in short everybody now it's uh, is selling online whether they are selling a product they are selling a service maybe you're selling clothes you're selling wigs you're selling um a digital product maybe on affiliate marketing you're selling um you're selling phone accessories you're selling um, education you're selling books whatever whatever you're selling even ideas you know everybody's selling something online today everybody's selling something online today even people who you know who use tiktok who dance you know stuff they are selling Everybody is selling something online. They are selling maybe their talents. You know, they are trying to grow to become influencers or something like that. So everyone is trying to sell something online today. And um, anyone who sells online is a digital marketer. Yes, anyone who sells online is a digital marketer. And, and what I wrote here is selling anything online is not is not a straightforward process. It has a formula that when that formula is followed it will yield result um many people try to okay what you see many people do is they go to their status and they post uh this is now available this is now 15k this is um this is uh buy this or patronize your girl you know stuff like that and or you see people post long very long status updates of my product, my product, my product, my product, my product. And if you check very well, your first, the first photo I have, um, if you have up to a hundred percent or two hundred percent, the first photo I have like a uh, hundred, the next one ninety eight, the next one sixty, and that is how it will go on to. And sometimes people would not even check till the end. People would not even check till the end. Now, if you're selling anything online, I know some persons who who make so much money online, and guess what? They don't even post a single thing on their status about their products. Yes, they might post stuff about you know other things that might be related to their product, but you would not even know this person is selling something online. Now, that is the power of a WhatsApp funnel. <laughs> that is the power of a WhatsApp funnel. They know the kind the people who are seeing their status. They know the people who they are targeting. They know who their customer, their ideal customer is. They know who their ideal customer is. So that is one thing. That is one thing you should know. That is one thing you should um, you should pick up. Who is my ideal customer? Who is the person who wants this my product? Who is the person that this my product to be a solution to their problem? That is one thing you need to know, and you need to target these people in. Their right amount when i mean you need to know then you need to sit down and ask yourself okay let's say let's call this my ideal customer kemi kemi is a female that means kemi is a female and you know kemi is so so so, and so. probably if i'm selling a skincare product say kemi is a female kemi is 27 or 29 kemi is newly married you know kemi is um Kemi works in a bank. Kemi works in a bank. She, uh, what else? You know, she lives in, okay, she lives in Lagos. You know, you profile this person. You profile this person. You would even know what this person, you know, how this person thinks. Now, you, when you're targeting, you're, you're looking at, how am I going to target someone who looks like Kemi? someone who looks like Kemi. The thing is that if you try to target one person, you would also be targeting a lot of persons who have similar problem. But the first thing a digital marketer would know is that his job is not to target everybody. His job is to target one person, that one person or those few amount of people who are interested in what he want that is why contact gain is a disaster in contact gain you're just trying to get people that would that might not even view your status you're just going there 
to you know get people but people who sell things online people who smartly sell things online what they do is that they attract people so the kind of people they are looking for come to their dm they don't even go to these people these people come to them that is the formula i'll be showing you here now every good online marketer knows that people do not buy products they buy the solution to their problems i don't know if you've looked back on anything you bought maybe it's an iphone or anything you when you were buying a solution to a problem that problem might just be like might just be that you you want to feel among you want people to see you as someone who is who is cool or maybe you bought a course and um yes you bought a course maybe for example now you you bought this course now the reason you bought this course is because you have a business on whatsapp and you're trying to you know you're trying to to solve that problem of how do i run ads how do i get more people to see what i'm selling so people don't buy products they buy the solution to their problems they buy the solution to their problems and um your parents sent you to school your parents or parents send their children to school because they know that at a point in life they are going to grow old and they need someone to take care of them they are looking at a problem in the future and they are planning ahead for a solution so that is the only reason people pay for anything they they are looking for a solution to their problems i've seen a lot of women who buy products um who buy products on a book that tells them how to know if your husband is cheating on you i mean it's a problem many people face in their marriages it's a big problem many people face in their marriages and they are looking for a solution they are looking for that solution so you just you can't just come out to write say i want to write a book you must ask yourself what problem am i solving you must ask yourself what what problem is my product going to solve now as we go down we are going to look at um some of the profitable markets but i need you to start thinking i need you to start asking yourself if you sell clothes what problem do do this um do these clothes solve and trust me people don't wear don't buy clothes because they want to cover their nakedness so ask yourself again what problem does this clothes solve what problem does this thing solve this thing i'm selling what problem does it solve so if you don't want if so if they don't buy from you it's because of three reasons if you have people maybe in your contact list or whatever and they don't buy for from you it's because of one of these three reasons one you're marketing to the wrong audience most of the people if you're a student most of the persons you see on your contact list are probably students like you and if you're selling a high ticket product if you're selling a product of 10k 15k very few few people would buy very few people would buy besides in the student body there are different kind of people so if you are selling a product let's say you're selling um you're selling female shoes there are some persons who would buy and there are some persons who would not buy and you, you would always exhaust the amount of persons you have on your contact list if you don't have a method of growing these people so you're probably marketing to the wrong audience or you're marketing the wrong way you might have the wrong, the right audience but you're marketing the wrong way marketing has to do with marketing is like marriage a lot of people think marketing is about selling marketing is about it's about solving problems like i said people buy the solution to their problems so when they see you are someone who can solve their problems or solve a problem that they have to buy from you let me let me take um the clothing let me take the clothes selling clothes the clothing industry or the fashion industry for an instance let's say i sell i sell um if i sell clothes let's say i sell female clothes now i'm going to position myself as there are two kinds of persons who sell female clothes there's a kind there's one person who just you know posts a lot of samples of clothes on a status and say buy this one goes for 15k this one goes for this k this one goes for this k if you're lucky you get people who buy your products but then there are some other persons who they they come out and they say something like okay they, they start building authority people see them as a fashion expert 
people see them as a fashion expert people see them as a fashion expert i have a friend favor she sells perfumes online on whatsapp a lot of people sell perfumes in short i pity so many people who sell perfumes because i also have so many other friends who sell perfumes but the thing favor did differently was that the same oil perfumes she came out and she was like um she started making posts about perfume she's not she was not just telling people buy perfumes from me she was showing people how to apply perfumes what the types of perfumes she was showing people um health benefits i mean health benefits of a kind there was a kind there was this type of perfume she wanted to sell very you know small bottle oil perfumes and she was showing people telling people about the benefits on her status she kept telling people about the, the benefits she told people to share you know share her um share you know this thing we do that we tell people please share my flyer share my write-ups and you know people were people shared it but the way she crafted it we are still going to talk about copywriting the way she crafted it she was able to get people she was able to attract people to her dm and she started you know advertising advertising on her on her whatsapp status but she was not telling them buy my perfume no she was she she had not even gotten the perfumes yet she just kept telling them about that kind of perfume about the health um this thing people started sharing their testimonials i see oh i've used this perfume before what you're saying is true she was posting it on her state too she was post that is marketing that is high level that is boss level of marketing and guess what before she even ordered the perfume she has she had sold out she was sold out already she was sold out why she she was marketing the wrong way if you're marketing with the mindset of i want to sell now you're going to get it wrong you're going to get it wrong marketing has to do it's it's like i i tell people it's like dating it's like marriage you take your time if you're if you if you're meeting a girl on the first time you don't tell her you don't even tell her i want to get married to you or if you're the kind of people that the kind of person that is not interested in you can't tell her i i i I want to sleep with you except she's a prostitute i mean if you are interested in someone at least you get to know this person's name you get to arrange for a first date you know you get to call you know calls people make at night get you get this person to know you you get this person to know you you get this person to like you you get this person to trust you so if any day you say i want to get married to you it's easy you in short you have more you your your chances of getting a yes it's between 33 to 50 (laughs) percent it's between 33 to 50 percent that is what marketing is like marketing is building relationship that is it it is building relationship so when you're getting people and you're not building relationships with them you're not you're just telling them buy this product you're going to lose them and what way do you build relationship is solving problems people like people who help them solve their problems okay then the next one is you're not getting enough eyes of interested people you're not getting enough eyes here of interested people to see your product that is where this ad come in you need to look for a way you need to have a system of getting people new people into your dm consistently new people into your account list every single day consistently consistently five ten twenty people you need to and that are interested in your product not just anyhow people people that are interested in your product you need to get them consistently 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 once you have enough eyes of interested people seeing your product your chances of selling is very very high so if you if you if you want to sell to let's say it's something you want to do delivery to and you want to deliver to people within lagos and you're staying in lagos you need to look for a way to get people in lagos in that particular area in lagos and you need to get as in not just anyhow person but people who are interested in what you're buying for example i'm i'm a male i might never be interested for now though (laughs) for now i might not be interested in getting female shoes anything female like 
you know because i'm not the best person for that pro product but if you tell me okay there's this formula that can help you um there's this formula that can help you get twenty thousand naira in a day i might consider i might consider it i'll, I'll be like whoa that is something i need to you know check out and if i want to check out that stuff i would take my time to study that person to know how if i would trust that person i i hope you're getting the um the picture i'm trying to paint here so marketing is a journey and you must be able to take your um you must be able to take your customers on that journey from the moment they know you or yes they come to know you then you have to get them to like you you have to get them to trust you enough to do business with you now how do you sell a bottle of water you go to a place where you find tasty people if you want to sell water go to a place where you find tasty people that is why a lot of persons sell bottled water or pure water on you know the express during hamatan because that's where you find a lot of tasty people so you don't just go to you don't just you know sell anywhere just because you have a product you just want to sell anywhere you need to find people who are tasty who are hungry for what you you want so that water solves a present pressing need it cures their taste if there is no pressing need people will not part away money with i'm telling you if you don't have a pressing need you would not part away money with i hope i spoke that right during the lockdown i my phone got spoiled i needed a phone urgently because we were about to have online classes i would have not gotten a phone at that period i would have just managed my small phone at that period but because there was a pressing need there was a pressing need i had to gather money to get the phone so there are people if you're if you sell something like power banks there are people who um people who they've lost a lot of business they've lost so many things because someone tried to reach them and uh for example I, I personally i feel i need a power bank at this point because i was trying to record some of these videos last night and i had difficulties because my phone went off at the point so you need to find people who have a need and you need to tell them you need to have a you, you need to have a system of telling them that see you have this pro problem don't wouldn't you love to solve it that is what copywriting helps you do wouldn't you love to solve it so you need to have a way of telling them that there's this problem that you can help them solve and that is the only way they are going to buy from you now like i've asked this question before but i want you to ask yourself again what problem does my product solve what problem does my product solve what problem does my product solve and now we will go to the three major profitable markets there's supposed to be a fourth one entertainment uh you know because of the new things are out you know people doing comedy people doing tiktok um you know videos and everything it's a very big industry but then there are three major profitable markets those ones that you can sell to and you get money very fast and you get money predictably and if the product you're selling falls under this three market you're very lucky and you can really really capitalize on it you can really really capitalize on it if you don't have a product that falls almost all products do fall under this three market if you know the way to you know channel it if you know the way to channel it but um but even if they don't you know one thing i discovered is that a lot of persons fall in love with their product so they don't they don't want to change it at a point if they feel they need to change to something more profitable they don't want to change it but i would say nobody should get too attached to a product you're selling at one time or the other or too attached that you're selling just one product and you would not want to sell another product because one way of making wealth is to have multiple streams of income of course so it's i i hope you grab so the three major profitable markets we have the make money markets or the get get paid so it's get paid get laid lose weight so the number one is the make money market or people call it the make money niche and this is what you see everywhere 
how to make 100k in 14 days you know <laughs> you've seen those flyers around how to make urgent 2k how to run whatsapp um how to run whatsapp at this under the make money market because at the end of this trying to tell you how to bring more money to yourself um how to um how to there are so many there are so many topics under this there are so 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 many topics how to build a a sales funnel how to design a, a one-page website there are so many things how to how to build a digital product how to start drop shipping you know how to um how to buy and sell on jumia there are so many topics under this niche and the market is so big people want to solve their money problems people are always having problems with money and they want to solve it so if you have a solution to one of the problems how to start how to be a freelancer if you have a solution to one of the problems you can start selling it you can start selling it now for less if we take oil perfumes for example um there is there are some persons who sell oil perfumes there are some persons who sell oil perfumes and then there are some persons who teach people how to sell oil perfumes now those that sell oil perfumes they might fall under the relationship market or the health market depending on the kind of perfume they sell like i said i just got to know that there is a kind who that has health benefits but those that show you how to run a business you know a perfume a perfume a perfume is it perfumery or a perfume selling business that is how to make money so you could even have you know one business in each of these though i i tell people that they should pick one niche and they should focus on it they should focus on it so it's a very large market now the relationship or the sex market it's very very big a lot of people are having problems at home okay um I think there's a, a lady called Jaruma and she was selling um, this stuff they call Kanyamata <laughs> and she was selling um you know fortified waist beads you know charms and stuff how to how to keep a man how to make a man not go look for another woman or not cheat on you there are some persons who do it the ethical way they write books about it there's a person who um who teach about you know friendship partnership self-development most of all these things still fall under the relationship market and then um there are some places who even sell sex enhancement products all this i know it's especially in nigeria is not it's not something that is discussed often because of the um because of the stereotype <laughs> but i'm telling you a lot of people invest so much invest so much in buying this a lot of people invest so much let me let me give you a little secret i i i am a pharmacy student final year and i i worked one time in a pharmacy as an it student and in the evenings i discovered that a lot of people they they come to buy either condoms or sex enhancement you know products and there was this company that uh though there are there are drugs for that and there was this company that made the drug to look like chocolate you know in chocolate form so you would be surprised you'll be shocked at how many people how many men come to buy that product every single day and it's it's a little bit expensive so they but this but yet they keep on you know they keep on patronizing and patronizing and patronizing now a lot of people they are the market is big but like i said there is always an ethical way to sell that is the most important thing there's also an ethical way to sell i'll not um I'll not encourage anyone to go to go diabolic in it but it's a very big market a lot of people want to know how to keep their homes a lot of people want to know how to manage pressure in marriage a lot of people want to know how to you know there are a lot of things so also some products you're selling for example clothes people buy clothes not because they uh not because they want to buy clothes they buy clothes or uh, not to cover their nakedness in quote they buy clothes because most times they just want to impress 
a member of the opposite sex or they want to they want to pepper people and you know it's also under relationship i know i wrote cat lady but it's just a you know it's a it's a cov it's a big coverage so it's um people want to smell nice so that when they go out people are you know man is a social being man nobody's an island man is a social being we thrive by getting people to compliment us we smile when people compliment us we go home and we think about it often and often and often and often we you put on that wrist watch because you know you want to look you want to look nice you want to look cool and you know you you buy that wig because you want to you want to look cool so if you have a way of hitting that pain point why do you feel people buy hitting that emotion that is causing people to buy or that is causing people to buy that particular product you would get so many people to buy that product so one one reason why your product might not be selling is because you have not hit that emotion you have not hit that emotion you have not hit that emotion yes you have not hit that emotion so if you can hit that emotion is it greed is it lost is it um is it self-esteem like whatever whatever it is if you can hit that particular emotion you will get a lot of people to buy from you and now there's the health market um this is where fitness comes under you know how to stay trim many people buy drugs take programs you know how to lose weight and stuff to look you know to look good and um some persons also this is where you know um health as in the the broad the broad term health comes under you know people who have um some persons have um illnesses like diabetes hypertension and some persons sell supplements too they are selling supplements to these people on how to how to get um how to get low blood sugar without you know without taking the drugs for it your diabetic drugs how to get low blood pressure without taking um your hypertensive drugs and people people want to live long people want to live long so they always jump to this market people want to lose weight people don't so it's a it's a big niche like i said if you want to move to another market you still can do it yes trust me you still can do it i knew of a lady who wrote a book on how to how to um how to remain fit because a lot of persons were asking her how do you how do you stay trim how do you stay how do you not gain weight so she wrote a book on how to how to stay fit something like that how to stay fit without without stopping the foods you like without stopping the kind of foods you like it was just a, a small book about 20 pages 30 pages and she set it up on her um she started selling it on her status because a lot of her friends were asking her she started selling it on her status and f- only from her status i think she made about 30 or fifty thousand naira. so it's something that a lot of persons are looking at it's something a lot of persons are looking at so you need to sit down and ask yourself what problem is my product solving or you need to ask yourself what problem do i want to solve and what product can i get to solve that particular problem so if you can solve a problem in any of these markets you'll have a lot of people willing to pay you for your solution yes there are a lot of people people keep on coming and coming and coming people get married every day people get into relationship every day people fall sick every day they get they get bigger every day you know (laughs) sorry about that people want to make money every day yes there are a lot of persons people turn 18 and then or they turn 20 and then they see that life is not what they told us life is or you you have to leave your parents house or something happened and you know you you just there's this pressure to make money so you need to you need to um you need to be able to find these people you need to be able to look for these people you need to be able to look for these people and um that is where running ads comes in so 
I'll be seeing us in the next module.